Hey man, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. It's your boy Ty. Hey, today we're getting into some uh, 21 Pilots. So we're not getting into like a music video or anything like that, but we're getting into um, just like the tour um, and, you know, and behind the scenes of everything. Um, and this is going to be a first for me, actually, um, just to, you know, to see like the everyday life and the life of times of 21 Pilots. So, you know, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel and, you know, y'all ride along with me. Let's go. Thank everyone. Show number one. Two, two. You got 43. Will that mess up anyone to go a minute early? Oh, you know what? I'm going to put all eyes on it now for you. Just give me one second. Hey, just like the music videos. Hey, you got you to gotta bring it to life. Literally. Literally translating uh, the music videos into the actual the actual stage set. Uh. Jin is about to turn seven. I've been traveling the world for over a decade now. Ever since getting Jin, he's been on the road too. Uh, actually, I think like three days after I got him, he was in a tiny bag and we flew. He's been great. A great oh. traveler ever since, and um, I pretty much just travel with him all the time now. He loves coming Man's on tour. Right there. It's great because I get to hang out with him, and my wife Debbie gets to hang out with him. Thank you. He said, "You want to show? You want to show your track?" Nah, I'll say this. Right, I'm gonna yeah. stop for a sec. So, um, I just find it dope. I find it dope that. Um, uh, you know, his wife and his dog is able to come on tour with him. Um, you know, I always thought about like, you know, when I get to that point with music, um, you know, would I be able to, you know, bring my wife, you know, bring my wife or kid or dog and everything. But yeah, you can make it happen and stuff. And that's super dope. And that's, um, you know, super, super inspiring to be able to see. Uh, some of the crew, people have to leave their dogs at home. Mm -hmm. They get to hang out with them too. I think it's just it's just good energy to have a good, uh, a good happy dog on the road. <laughs> hey, buddy. I, I think she told you, I, if I throw like it, you're gonna take off. Oh. This is probably the, this is the jersey that I wear every night. Look at these guys. Hey, do you remember the first photo we got when you were holding Jim and I was holding Jimmy's? Yeah, jersey? yeah, that's yeah, that was uh, in Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this cool guy. One day, me and Tommy will be in a band together. So he'll play drums, and I will also play drums. <laughs> Well, is this all just guy. crazy to you right now? Yeah, yeah, Dad, what is this, man? We're a three-piece now. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. I think that I was talking to Jenna uh, earlier today about how I think we're going to be proud of... Hey, do you remember when we toured with three kids? That's just crazy. I think we'll be yeah, proud we'll make it. It. Right yeah. now, it's, it's pretty intense. But to let you know that it is attainable. Dude, that's super Night one. I like that. The Clancy World Tour. I think it was um, it was around the middle of the set where I started to really get my feet under me. It felt like natural. Oh yeah, I remember mm -hmm. this. I don't know. I, I just don't think that it's just not a natural thing to be up in front yeah. of that many people. I think that maybe the idea is that it like seems to us like it's no big deal, but man. Um, so I think the, the biggest amount of people I've been able to perform in front of was probably over maybe like 150, I think so. Maybe, yeah, maybe about 150. It was on um, a college campus and yeah, it is, it's something that like not everybody is, 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 is able to, to, you know, to deal with. And, you know, still to this day, like if I was to go back and, you know, in that front, in that in front of that many people, I probably would still feel the same. It takes a while to like really get used to it. Then the music plays, and then like you're just trying to remember the you know remember the music, and like you you know the music, but it's just still like it's it's off a little bit at times. I don't think I've ever been more nervous for a show uh, ever. With a new show, 
new set mm -hmm. list. There's always so much to remember uh, in terms of where to be when, transitions between songs. I think a lot of us, uh, you know, felt relatively nervous going in to night one just because of all these uh, all these changes. I think we played like 30 some songs. A lot of lyrics. The hit um, needs to come up, uh, but we pulled it off. You know, I've, I've actually never put more time into a set list in my whole life. Hey, y'all explain the ink again. Uh, I remember y'all told Josh me, but I'm, I'm, I forgot like the ink on his takes, hands and his neck. It takes everything, every, every little bit of us to pull it off. But it's a good feeling knowing that we, I mean, we just, we just can't ever, we can never really fake it other than our backing tracks, which I worked really hard on, by the way. I think that uh, Tyler and I both believe that the more you can be prepared ahead of time, the more set up you are for a success. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I mean, I know you hear a lot of backing tracks when we play. We can only play so many things. But also, like, those stems and the backing tracks and the how thoughtful I'm trying to be for when they, how they, oh my gosh. I, I spent more time on the tracks. The backing stuff than when the you stems, recorded them. Mm -hmm. And the backing tracks for the Clancy tour than I did on the record, Clancy. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Because, We're all right, gonna... so trying to understand when it comes to performing and being able to break things down, like sometimes there's some words that like you might not have the breath to be able to get out. So then you have to place the backing tracks at a certain point. So like if you're saying like, um, I don't know, um, you know, this life is forever, but you, you were saying a whole bunch of lines before and you're running out of breath, you can add that that backtrack to it to fill it in so you can catch your breath to then go into the next part but then you have to consciously also remember in your mind too when you're performing hey this is coming up so i can like stop at that part but then i got to go back in it's yeah it's, it's crazy constantly be running into our own set of challenges throughout the whole tour but um it always feels good to have one completely behind us mm -hmm. um, so now moving forward we can only optimize only get better and uh, hopefully make the show better and, and feel better for us and for you. Plenty of Clancy tour left and mm -hmm. um, we're just getting started and hope to see you there. I'm proud of him. Can you deal with that? Is everyone good in here? The whole place is, it, it looks sold out. Sold out, man. And, uh, it's just them. No backup singers, no nothing. Just them. Super dope, super dope. I'm just gonna rewind it back some a little bit.
let me get a good uh screenshot so yeah um i definitely will get into more of these i just love seeing the behind the scenes of everything and hopefully maybe they will go into like a more in-depth of like if they had any recordings or videos of them recording the album because that'd be super dope to you know be able to hear too um and just you know figure out like the you know the behind the scenes stuff so yeah y'all make sure y'all like comment subscribe to the channel also let me know too if you've been to a 21 pilots concert um rank it out of one to ten um what was your favorite show that you went to all that i'm out i can sell sand to the seashore got them so hot they send the dust behind the keyboard if i get a mill i'ma need more if i get two mil i'ma need more are y'all niggas so